I've got an IGES file up on my screen here with a perfect example of how to construct a nominal round slot. I'm going to do a measurement analysis to this plate here. Let me zoom in just a little bit to this area here. One of these slots, actually both of these slots, will form the B and C datums. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to prepare my model. And I've already picked some of these surfaces that I'm going to be using for my measurement and for the iterative alignment. But now what I've got to do is I've got to pick on some of the nominal slot content that's going to form my B and C datums. So I've got this slot here. I'll zoom in one more time as well and hit the R key just to regenerate. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to the Construct menu, Round Slot, that's a nominal. All right, so what that means is I've got some nominal data that I've read in through an IGES file, but I don't have any names of any of these entities in my review features yet. So I'm going to do that. But now notice down in the left-hand corner, it's asking for a selection of point number one that's on the first circle. What I like to say is that's the point number one on the first arc. So what I'll do with my cursor here, I'm just going to highlight or just put it close to this area here as if I was measuring this slot. And I'm past the point of the tangent here, so I'll click on that with the left mouse button. Finds a couple entities. It's that right there and that right there. Okay, there's the wireframe, and that's what I like. I like that top wireframe. So I'll click on that one time. And then I'll go to this area here. So I know I'm going to click on three times on each arc. What I'll do is I'll click on that. Okay, it only found one entity there. And then notice in the bottom left-hand corner, it's asking me to select point number three. So I'll go in this area here. And click on that. Okay, there it found a couple. The top one, that's what I'm looking for, that little wireframe. Now notice that down in the bottom left, it's asking for point one in the second circle. Or like I like to say, it's on the second arc. So I will go here. Click on that with the left. Finds that same wireframe body, so I click on that. And I'll go in this area here, click on that, choose that body there. And then down here, my third click. Okay, it only found one entity there, so it gives me my vector of the axes. And with the left mouse button, I can toggle that back and forth. And it doesn't really matter which way the vector is going here for me. So then the right mouse button will accept it. Now notice that it's giving me a vector that would be the axis direction of the slot too. So I can left mouse key that if you are concerned with the vector direction. And I'll just hit the right mouse button to accept that. Okay, and now here we've got the nominal N underscore round slot 001. I of course want to rename it as quick as I can. So I will call that my datum B slot. And say okay, or hit the enter. Now it's kind of tough to see here because my nominals are also the same color as my IGIS. So just to prove it to myself, I'll go back to review features here. There's my nominal B slot. If I hit the view here, notice how it shows up in red just all the way around the top of that slot. And since I'm going to measure that slot and I'm going to associate my measured data to this nominal slot for my alignment, this is just a perfect way of doing that. Let me hit the right mouse key to bring me back to review features and say OK. And then I will zoom out just a little bit more. Now I'm going to do that same slot construction on this side. And I'm going to call that my datum C slot. And I'm going to let you guys get back to it and try it on your own. And just remember that you do that under the construct round slot nominal.